See, he says here, older women are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good. Again, I can't do everything here, but we're going to deal with the first two. Reverence and not slanderous. Listen, older women, you are to be marked by reverence. Reverence to God. Reverence to authority. Reverence to your husbands. Reverence in worship. Reverence to your calling, which is to be a mother and, and a wife. Listen, this is, this is what God calls you to, and what a difference it is when you see older women that are not marked by reverence, but rather are marked by flippancy and, and hardness and even contention. Listen to these words. Proverbs 21, 19. It is better to live in a desert land than with a quarrelsome and fretful woman. You may take offense to that, but that's Scripture. Listen to this. Proverbs 27, 15. A continual dripping on a rainy day and a quarrelsome wife are alike. Listen, brother, a woman, an older woman whose behavior is not marked by reverence, but by contention and nagging and irritabilityness and displeasure just about everything, brethren, that is a burden. And generally just unpleasant to be around. That is not what God calls you to as older women. He calls you to godliness, to walk in reverence to Him and to those things around you. And look here, He gives us an example by which to do that. One of the ways that older women need to take heed of this call to reverence is the way that they use their mouths. You see, He says, not slanderers. The reality is, brethren, you can go and you can see this word all through the Scripture. And there's only two places where it is translated slanderer. It's here, and it's over in Titus. Every other place in Scripture where this is translated, it's translated as devil. And the reason is because the devil is the slanderer. Listen, slander is to utter falsehood about another person. It is to speak false claims about another person. And that preeminently is true about the devil, is it not? He speaks falsely about those who are God's people. He utters falsehood. He falsely accuses. And so Paul says this ought not be the case for the older women. Why? Because they're not to be slanderers and act like the devil. That is devilish to act like that, to be slanderers. Listen, when, when women spread, and this isn't just women, of course. Obviously, men can do this. But this application is here written, and, and it's written to older women, and it's there for a purpose. So I'm going to use this. Right? Paul says, women, when you function in this way, when you spread information that is false, and you speak in a manner that would ruin the reputation of another, you are acting devilish. That's what that is. When things come from your mouth that are not meant to build up, but are meant to tear down and destroy, that is devilish to do that. And Paul would have that these older women who are walking in godliness don't act that way. Not to be slanderers because that is what the devil does. That isn't what godly women do. Certainly not older women in the faith. 